Okay, so we're live now on camera. Um, feeling the feelings. This this thing which I was inspired by by Dr. Hawkins, in itself, this one tool is enough to take you all the way to enlightenment, uh, because it it uh, it dismantles the ego and its two major foundations. One is um, identification with thoughts and also feeling out all the repressed feelings that are held within the ego. And this one, uh, this one technique, this one practice will, will fully take up the ego and it's enough. But you know, you can use other tools as well. And all it is is remember that the ego is comprised of repressed feelings and there's a limited amount of repressed feelings within the ego. As an active addict, you know, I would use food, I would use work, I would use TV, I would use various things to not feel my feelings, or just constant activity, or constant thinking to not uh, release all the repressed and suppressed emotions within myself. And the other thing was my addiction to thoughts, and this one technique is enough. So, for me, being highly in the ego means I think a lot and don't feel. So that's the that's the crux of what I am. That's how I get to anti those anti life levels of consciousness is constant thinking, addiction to thought, and doing things so that I, I I build up my reservoir of repressed feelings, never feeling my feelings out. And there's various addictive processes I could do to to do that. So this one thing is the 180 reversal of of what addiction is, which is to let go of the identification with thoughts. So and the weight starts off wherever you are on your journeys. You just close your eyes and you become aware of any kind of energies or repressed feelings or emotions or sensations that are trapped within the experiencing of the sense of self, the limited sense of self. So usually for people it might be there might be tightness in the stomach or chest or trapped feelings or emotions or fears or griefs or cravings. So it's just close your eyes and just allow these things to be fully experienced and then so that's one thing just I welcome everything which is the reverse attitude of an addict which is not wanting to feel or push things down or go into some kind of addictive process to eat to drink to take drugs to put on the TV whatever it is just um, welcome everything up and don't and in fact, in fact have the opposite thing also recognize that as uh, all people have the capacity to mentally push down their feelings. Even if you're not on the TV or eating bananas or drinking alcohol, there is an aspect of consciousness which is mentally pushing down feelings all the time. So just unlet, let that go and just let everything come up. Welcome. Not like you. Now this process is not a mental process because as you're going to stop labeling or la allowing the ego to describe or label anything while you're doing this process. So. No head or thinking is required when you're letting all these energies and emotions come up. So this is how I'd do it in the beginning. In the early days, it'd be like, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a knot in my stomach. So I'll just welcome that and fully allow it to be experienced. And then as soon as my head wants to go into a story or a thought, detach. So it'd be like, oh, I don't want to feel this, but no. As soon as you realize you're going off into a thought, just detach from that thought and just be with the feeling. Just be with the feeling. And then you'll notice in the early days, another thought will emerge in consciousness. Oh, I, need, I forgot to do my shopping. But again, as you notice that thought start to emerge, just uh, detach from that thought and be again with the, with the feeling. And recognize that it's the process of just allowing whatever there is to be experienced to be experienced. But as soon as a thought emerges in consciousness, try and cut it off as quickly as possible. So when you first do this process, you might be trying to let everything come up and then you might find yourself in like two or three sentences of thinking before you realize, oh, I'm off in my head again. Detach from that and back. And each time you do it, recognize you're going into your thoughts quicker. Detach and just welcome the feeling. So eventually, as you become good at it, there's hardly any thoughts and you're just welcoming everything to be experienced, everything is being released. And for people who come from an addiction background, the great news is that, uh, I was told this by Hawkins, it's, it, there's a finite amount of repressed feelings you've got in you. So let's say as an addict I had like a uh, hundred units of craving for donuts. So 
if I've got a hundred units by, by repressing my feelings every time, like I remember when my pet pigeon died, I, I, I boiled a big pan of potatoes and put lots of butter on so I didn't have to feel my feelings. So now by not acting out on any addiction and not acting out on your thinking, just being overthinking, all this reservoir of repressed feelings start to come up. But it's finite. So imagine I have a hundred units of, of crying to do. So if I do an hour of crying now and don't put the TV on or drink some booze, then I'll have let go of an hour. I'll just have 99 hours left to go. It's a finite amount. So, and it comes to an end and then you're done. Of course, you might, might, must make sure you don't take anything new on. So, um, also uh, from helping lots of people, let go of the idea that you have to do it properly. When you're doing it, just let go of all your thinking and some thoughts may come, am I doing the process properly? Just let that thought go. And some people have, while they're doing the feel, well, they're allowing all their emotions and energies to come up, they have, the, they have something like in the background monitoring what's happening, like a bit of the unconscious is there trying to figure out what's going on. Even switch that off. No thinking is required. As soon as you go into thoughts, just detach from that thought and just welcome up. If you have like two dominant feelings at the same time, just either let, just intuitively allow yourself to be with the one that you want to be with. What I found, like let's say I had like a knot in my stomach and tight shoulders, it might feel intuitively I'll, I'm with this mostly, most of the time, that, that starts to dissolve and then I'll be with the knot in the thing and that will dissolve. Or if I had a headache, then I'd be with the headache and then that would start to dissolve and then I might find, oh, there's something more subtle underneath that and I'll feel that out. So that's how you take layer and layer of, of stuff comes up and you just allow it to evaporate. Ultimately, when, when you've released everything in there, you go into the states of that limitless eternal place because you're not tracking thoughts and all those feelings of re repression that make you feel limited dissolve into nothingness and you go into an infinite state. So we'll do five minutes now uh, of silence and just practice that and we'll see how we go with that. <laughs>